Good day YouTubers and welcome back to Moonshine Vapor and another review. And today we're looking at the new RTA intake by Og Vape and Mike Vapes. And I've been waiting to get my hands on this device and trust me it's one to have, it really really is. So what you get in the box, you get the tri tool inside like so take that baby out there a bit. then it comes your tank okay before we get into that and in the bottom of there you will get your spare bits and pieces the only thing I didn't get in this bag was like I was quite surprised coming from Mike Vapes especially and Og Vape no coils in there whatsoever you get a 510 adapter you get a spare uh, 810 drip tip um, you got obviously you got some spare screws in there and your normal oil rings and seals okay and in the bottom of here to come out for me, which you probably won't, is another glass, spare glass, which will be 3mm, and the bubble glass on there is 4.5mm. 4, 4 so that's what you get in the packaging. The boring part at the way. Onto this baby here. Really is a nice tank. Well designed, nicely machined. Can't find anything to complain about. You've got your 510 gold plated pin on the bottom there. And you can see, maybe and maybe not. Focus, got hog vape in the bottom there, and light vapes. Um, this is the drip tip, is a shorty drip tip that you get as well. 810 on top. Just push down, turn. The top cap comes off. Nice kidney shape. Holes here. For your juice to go down. Top air flow here. You've got a stop on it as well. Just get into the chamber because that's where the, the magic is really on this baby and as you can see there I've already got a coil in because I've been using it all week and these two tubes here is where your hair flow comes from the top goes down hits the coil and bounces back up and that's what it's named the intake. And then you've got your little choose channel, uh, sorry, your cotton channels just here on the side, either side. Very easy. It's when I say a beginner, well, should be able to put this together with no qualms. All you've got to do is just watch a video once. Bang, and that is straight up. Very easy, like I said, to install the coil. Just make sure that you get the coil sitting down to the bottom of the airflow as close as you possibly can without shorting out your device. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put some cotton in this baby and try another juice in it and just show you how it performs for me the building is a uh, fuse Clapton I got in there comes out at 0.33 and I'm running this at about 45 to 50 watts make sure that's off yet okay and then all I'm going to do now is put a little build in this baby so it's not build some cotton. 
tried three different wicking methods. I haven't had an issue with anything yet. I just like to just mess about with different types of styles of wicking on my RDAs anyway. So this time I'm using this is the least amount of cotton I'm using. It's a 3mm diameter coil NIAT. And it just kicks out flavour, it really does. So like I said, I've just been trying different types of level of thickness of cotton in here for now. So far I've not had a problem apart from I think the last one, got a bit too much cotton in there. And it cut, didn't keep up when you tried to like just experiment on a chain vape on it. Didn't keep up. So I'm just like this there, that's something that I like to do in my R RTAs mess around with the wicking side of things to find the ideal wicking solution for that particular RTA but let's fluff this up and just come back to the camera and show you what I'm doing That's what I've done. Okay. And go right up to the side of the, the threads here on the side. That's where you want to cut your cotton flush with that, your scissors. Right. Get some juice. I'm going to use some uh, Mammy Drip Club. Is it? Yep. Lemon eleven donut. Oh god, that smells sweet. Start it off. Yeah, for a twenty-four millimeter single coil. Trust me, I'm telling you, this baby absolutely performs, and it's just everything about it. It's simple. Um, the threads on it silky smooth, easy to wick. It just performs like a trooper. It really does. Now, when you put the cotton in here, in here, you don't want it to come out to the bottom. Hanging there and there, you got these little holes on it, or you got a hole underneath here where the cotton sits into. And you just want it to sit it sitting like in the cup shape of it so it doesn't fall at the bottom. If it does, you can put your scissors at the bottom here and just snip it away. But I just like to wet the cotton first. And you can just manipulate it a lot better then into that channel. Without making it drop too far. Side in on this, with this side out. I'll come back to me, show you exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, that's just about right for me. Just see if there's too much cut in there, you'd see it hanging at the bottom here. The light is just came, came in right now. You'll see it just hanging at the bottom and you can put your scissors just underneath here and cut it flush. But the best, I think the best method is just to wet the cotton like it says and just sit it inside the cup. Okay. Get him screwed back on. Yeah, get him screwed back on. The colours these come in is a uh, what I've seen so far is a uh, stainless steel, gunmetal grey, black, and a blue. And 
as you can see in the bottom of the chamber here, them holes there, either side of the main chamber, is where these tubes would sit in line. And as you've got the screw in, you just you feel it's falling in place because inside that chamber it spins, enabling it when it locks in place, it screws the deck in place. So it just, just falls in place. You don't, you don't have to search with the hole, if you just pull it in gently, turn it, and you feel the cup or the two tubes would fall into the holes. That's as simple as baby really is. I swear to God, simple as one, two, three. I love it. And that baby's ready to juice up. I'm gonna pull him on first. Let's pull him on all busy. Get some juice in this baby. Best price I've seen for this device, to tell you the truth, is eSig One UK. I think it's about twenty six ninety nine. You can go Gear Best, um, Evans Gift, and all the rest of the sites. You probably have to wait a week, maybe a week and a half, before it arrives. You probably pay a bit less. Twenty seven ninety nine. Can't argue. It's well worth it. Every penny. It really, really is. There she is. Like I says, got that big seal there on the bottom of the cap. Easy to put on. Falls in place, just there, just fell straight in place. There we are. And just push, we're going to push it down, push down on it, and turn. And that baby's locked. And there you have it. Looks good in there as well. Alright, just give it a vape. You know what? Before I even give it a vape, just give you some more information. I'm gonna hold this on to about 47 watts. And that's so a second. Right, Ogvape Intake RTA. The Intake RTA is a collaboration between Mike Vapes and Ogvape. This is a single coil RTA with a unique airflow system. It, the intake RTA, approximately named, so appropriately named, ugh, named the airflow starts at the top and goes through two tubes to come out of the bottom. It comes to, it measures, sorry, it measures at in at twenty four millimeter. It comes with two bubble, two what? It comes with, comes with bubble glass. It also includes a straight glass tube. This also includes two 810 drip tips. One is a taller Darwin drip tip and the other is a colored low profile drip tip that would match the stainless steel or black color. There you have it. And like it says, you can pick up this 26, oh, 26, 49 pence at EC1 mm. okay and they've got the they've got the four I think they've got four colours showing up on their sites so just check them out also you can check out um, your local vape shop to see if they've got it in now um, you can go to Evans Gift or Gear Best and my V Pro and Free F vapes, them the usual suspects that I use. 
with my bits and pieces. So there's his baby vape. Now let me show you. Open the airflow. Oh, I'd like to have mine fully open. Keep this window open a second. Oh. Turn that baby up. Flavor man, it's just rich. Let's try it on. So it looks on Aegis or Geek Vape. It's good on there as well. Let's go 50 watts on that baby. Punches the flavor, honestly. Any of any of you that know about <laughs> Lemon Eleven from Cheap Frills range, that donut kicks ass. It's probably one of the best donuts on the market, if you ask me. Hmm. Lovely jubbly. Well, let's try it in it. X SX Mini. It just sits nice and everything, it really does. It's not matchy matchy, you know what I mean? But you can imagine if it was like the blue or whatever colour it's supposed to be to match it up. It looks Looking sick. Right. Get this one cracked on. I've got this on there now. Take this on 50 watts. You can see that. I can't. Got a picture on there. There's a fog cup of the baby on there. There you go. <laughs> right. Can't take a big, absolute. I wish I'm dying to. Got my chest still playing up. I still got this infection that I'm just trying to ward off. I've just been doing mad to lung over the last probably month or so. So excuse me if I can't sort of demonstrate. But trust me, dense clouds come up. This is frightening. <laughs> Even at 50 watts, and I've only been vaping it on that all week. So I can get a bigger intake. For cough and choke, don't laugh, please. Mm. It does kick flavour like a mother. You know what? I'm gonna be truthful. And to all the RTOs that are on the back shelf here behind me. This falls right on the top of the list. And not only that, I was using today, I was using the OBS engine too. And I'm telling you now, it's hard to determine which is which, flat, you know, which is the best. And I have to put my money slightly on this baby out the intake and the reason I'm saying that because I find the airflow side of this baby too noisy for me, it just kind of pisses me off. This baby's smooth and it's quiet, it really is. Flavour. Oh, 
hard to separate. But I think what brings it for me, that's smooth. The airflow is on this baby. It really is smooth. The intake is spot on. Nice single core RTA. And for those who's into your single core RTAs out there, get this baby in your collection. You, you know, you really can't go wrong. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave in the inbox where you can get this baby from. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. As soon as you get your hands on it, you let me know. Okay? Have a good weekend, everybody. Be safe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Double thumbs up to Og Vape and Mike Vapes on this beautiful, beautiful single car RTA. And like I said, I think it might just, I think it will park my OBS engine up to one side for a bit. Adios, have a good weekend now. Eh?